Hey guys, here with another real-time workout recording for you. So this is a 40-minute cardio kickboxing with ab burnout finisher workout. So the way this workout is structured is we have the usual 5-minute warm-up, 10 exercises, 30 seconds each, no rest. Then we start with the cardio kickboxing portion of the workout, which goes for 33 minutes. It has 11 exercises and we do three sets for each exercise. Work intervals are 40 seconds with a 20-second rest interval. For each of the exercises, bar one, they work one side of the body. So we do one side for the first interval, the opposite side for the second interval, and then alternate between sides or do a slight variation that works both sides for the third interval. But there is one exercise that is full body and we just do three intervals on the full body. And then at the end of that, we immediately go into the ab burnout finisher workout, which is the last seven minutes, which is seven different ab exercises, same intervals of 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. And that takes the total workout time to 40 minutes and then at the end of the workout we went into an about a 10 minute cool down stretch so you don't need any equipment for this workout but as always I recommend a soft surface such as a yoga or exercise mat for comfort but it is not required you will need a slightly larger space than usual as we are going to be kicking and punching uh, both sideways and forwards so make sure that you can safely kick sideways in both directions as well as forwards without risk of hitting anything and you will definitely need a sweat towel and a water bottle. So once you have got all those, let's get into this 40 minute cardio, kickboxing and ab burner workout. So we'll be starting just with our jumping jacks. So if this is hopefully connected. Yep, sweet. All right, so just normal regular jumping jacks to start with. So light on the feet, squeezing the shoulder blades together. So we got a lot of punching today, so we need to warm up. Shoulders, nice and light on those feet. Heels off the ground, working the calves. They're gonna get a good workout today. And core is tight. It's gonna be involved in stability through a lot of the moves. All right, going into our box to skip. So opening the hips up. Rotate the legs slightly to open, and we'll get the arms going as well. Stretch the chest and back. Again, nice and light on the feet. Heels off the ground. Really stretch out that chest. All right, side runner, right leg is moving, so left leg support position, half squat, nice bend in that leg, right leg in and out nice and quickly, and pump those arms, get the upper body working, the lower body working down here, starting to warm up hips, glutes, hamstrings, quads, we're doing a lot of work today, nice and quick and pump those arms. All right, cross behind, heel tap, so arms out to our sides. Hamstring engage, pull the leg diagonally behind. Little oblique crunch down with the abdominals to touch the foot and swap legs. So bonus quad stretch with this one. Warming up hamstrings and the obliques. So core is involved a lot today with stability and rotational movement. All right, side runner, left leg moving. So right leg is in that half squat support position. That's where we get our stability and power. We're gonna be in that position a lot today. Left leg in and out nice and quickly. Arms pumping. Warming up, biceps and upper body. Getting the heart rate up. Nice and quick with that foot. All right, arms and legs wide, side to side windmill. So stay low and just shift the weight side to side. Rotate the torso. Keep the back nice and flat, facing the ground. Bonus stretch of the straight leg groin with this one. Open those shoulders. Stretch that back. All right, high knee pull, right leg, so arms to the ceiling, 
Drive the knee up and crunch down. Extend, crunch. Keep the back straight. Engage the abdominals to drive the knee up and crunch the upper body. And then stretch, reach for the ceiling. Big extension, full crunch. All right. Squats with backwards arm circles, reach for the ceiling, open wide as we drop down, cross over as we come up. Extend, nice and wide, nice and low. Let's go to forward circles. So full circle with those arms, get those shoulders open, get those hips nice and low. High knee pull left leg, so extend, drive that left leg up. Explosive drive with the knee, crunch those elbows down, engage the core, stretch out. Point the toe and reach for the ceiling, then crunch together. Drive the knee. Nice and explosive. All right, half squat punches. So half squat, punch across the side of the body and up. Nice and quick. Stretch the obliques. Get those glutes activated. Don't need to go to a full squat. Just get the speed. Stretch the oblique as we go across the body. Warm-up done, grab a quick drink, take off any layers you need. So as I said, 11 kickboxing exercises. We do three sets of each in a row. All by one of them, we work one side for the first set, the opposite side for the second set, and then alternate between sides for the final set. One of them is just full body for all three sets. And then, so that'll be 33, lots of work. And then the last seven, just for fun, we have seven ab exercises for a nice little ab burner at the end. So first exercise, gonna get it out of the way straight away. We have burpee to a front kick. So we're not doing a chest to ground burpee, we're just doing a plank burpee. Um, first um, cycle we will just be doing the right leg so we're starting at the front of our space hands down jump back catch that plank position don't let the hips drop catch the plank position feet up right leg front kick and down again okay so just the right leg for the first one let's get going uh, so nice and steady catch the plank Front kick right and back down. You want to up the intensity, add a hop with the kick. Otherwise, you can keep the foot on the ground. Make sure you catch the hips by engaging the abdominals. When you drop to that plank, then crunch up, feet under you, right kick forward. Great work. Lovely. All right, second set, left leg. Make sure that you get your balance before you go into the kick. Stabilize, slight bend in the bottom leg. Let's go, left leg. You can use the arms to help you on the kick with balance. The support leg has a slight bend, help you generate power and balance. 
Core's tight the whole time. There's no rotation of the hips. Great work. All right. Last set of those. We're just going to alternate legs. And then there's no more burpees for the rest of the workout. So I figured we'd get it out of the way to begin with. Let's go. So alternate legs. Really work the core to keep the hips facing forwards or down the whole time. And the back straight. So there's no rotation of the spine. Work, finish off. Lovely, all right. Standing up. So we've got squat, duck and weave. Every time we go up to the left side, we cross body punch with the right. So arms are up, down to the right, just come up, hold the guard. Up to the left, punch with the right hand. So imagine that you're ducking a punch in the middle. So get nice and low. When you come up to the left side, punch with the right arm across the body. Extend the right leg to get that power, squeeze through the glute. Keep the guard up. When you go down the middle and up to the other side, Protect the face. Lovely. All right. Next set, left arm punches when we come up to the right side. Remember to get nice and low in that middle so if you're ducking a punch. So let's go arms up, up to the left, then up to the right, punch. Nice and low in the middle, spring up. On the left side, keep the hands in guard. On the right side, rotate, punch with that left body, left arm, sorry. Left leg extends straight, squeeze the glute to help get that power behind the punch. We're punching all the people that didn't follow the lockdown laws. Right in their faces. Great work. All right. Third set. We alternate. We're just going to punch each side. So remember, nice and low in the middle. Come up. Full extension of the body and punch. Both sides. Let's go. So punch on each side, down in the middle, reset the feet in the squat, when we come up, rotate the hips, pivot the back foot up onto the ball and squeeze the glute, great work, powering those punches. Use the momentum coming up out of the squat like a spring. Lovely. All right. We've got a combo. Facing the side, our right side, so left leg is forward, right leg is back. We do knee drive with the front left leg, bang, back right arm, hook. Reset, bang, knee drive, back to reset, right arm hook, knee drive, hook. So right knee drive, right hook. Generate the power in the hook, in that squat position, straighten the back right leg. Full body crunch to get that left knee up. 
punch, drive, punch. And get the arms going with the knee drive if you like as well. All right, second set facing the other way. This will probably feel weird to most right handers. So right leg is in front, right knee drive, left arm hook. Good work, let's go. So knee drive, hook, reset, knee drive, hook. Get the power in the punch from the little slight bend in the legs. Use the glute and the momentum. If we're just standing up, going like this, there's no power behind it. Down, punch. Bend the back leg, straighten it as we punch forward with the hook. Bang, knee drive, punch. So really get those obliques on that knee drive. All right, slightly different for this last set. We're gonna be facing forward. We're just gonna alternate. So front knee drive, so right leg knee drive, jab, left hand. Left leg knee drive, forward jab, right hand. Bang, bang. So keep that slight bend in the knees to help give you power and stability. Drive that knee up. Imagine you're slamming someone's head. So grab it, bang onto the knee, punch. Bang, punch. And alternate. So whichever knee hasn't driven, opposite hand jabs. Punch. Lovely. All right. Reverse lunge to front kick, right leg kicking first, so left leg stays on the ground. So left leg is bends to 90 degrees, right leg goes back, tap the knee, drive up, kick. If you need to put the foot down for balance, that's fine, otherwise just go straight to reverse lunge and kick. Left leg stays on the ground, we drive through the heel, so we engage the glute. Core keeps the hips facing forward. Use the arms to help you. So opposite hand and leg go forward. Kick. Drive through that front left heel. Engage the glute. Powerful kick through with that right leg. Hit me our belt. Great work. All right, left leg kicking. So right leg stays on the ground forward this time. Drive through the right heel. This is my bad side, so I'll probably fall over a couple of times. Let's go. Kick. As I said, if you need to put the foot down next to you when you come down from the kick to keep your balance before going back into the reverse lunge, that's okay. If you can go straight back into it, great work. I can't really on this side because the balance is not brilliant. But that's all right, I'm working on it. In the reverse lunge, just tap the back knee, then kick forward. Make sure you sink the hips backwards so the front knee stays above the ankle. We don't put sideways pressure on the knee joint. Good work. All right. Alternate legs for this one. So after the front kick, foot back under you, swap leg, back to the reverse lunge. So this one's a bit slower. It's got really powerful on the kick though. Kick, swap leg, transition, kick. Sink the hips low. As I said, make sure the hips go backwards so the front knee stays over the ankle, doesn't creep forward over the toes, so that we risk putting unnecessary pressure on the joint. Kick. 
the work. Lovely. All right, another combo. Facing our right side again. So left foot's in front. We go left, jab, jab, right, hook, right, knee drive. So front, left, jab, jab, back, right, hook, punch, knee drive. Jab, jab, hook, knee drive. Reset. Keep the bend in those legs to get the power. Bring the hips through with that knee drive, then drop back, reset. So jab, jab, hook, knee drive, reset, go again. So said, with the knee drive, you can imagine you're grabbing a head, smashing it down onto the knee. Great work. All right, same thing, other side. So facing the left, right leg in front. Jab, jab with the right hand, hook with the left, knee drive, left. Let's go. Again, for most right-handed people, this is gonna feel weird. That's fine, work on it. It's good to work on your weaker side to try and balance everything up. You need to go a little bit slower to work on the technique and balance. That's fine. I'd rather you do it well and properly and get fewer reps than be off balance and not getting any power behind them anyway. Anyway, all right. So again for this one, facing forward, we just do the jabs. So we go jab left, jab left, jab right, knee drive right. So jab, jab, other side, jab, knee drive, reset. Jab right, jab right, jab left, knee drive left. Bang, bang. So nice and quick on those jabs, then drive that knee up, crunch. Just two in a row at the same side. Jab, jab, opposite jab, knee drive. If your legs are not straight at any point through this. You've got that slight bend to give you power and balance. Mm. Lovely. All right. Touchdown front kick. Right leg's kicking forward first. So, right leg goes back, touch the ground with our right hand next to our left foot, spring up, front kick right, then back down, touch the ground. So left leg stays on the ground. So similar to the lunge, except the back leg stays straight and the torso twists, uh, folds forward rather, as we touch the ground. Drive up through the left heel, kick, as we bring the torso up straight, so we're upright for the kick, then we fold, touch the ground into a deep lunge, drive forward kick. Left hamstring and glute start to burn, that's what we want. Get going. Okay, All right, opposite side, left leg kicking, left hand touches the ground. Again, there's no rotation of the spine at this one. So core keeps everything in a straight line. When we drop down, drop the chest, bring the chest up as we kick. Touch the ground, up. Kick. The balance on this side is shocking. Sink low, touch the ground, engage the glute and hamstring of the supporting leg, abs and quad of the driving leg. 
Snap that leg forward. Kick with power. Go there. All right. We're just doing alternating side kicks for this one. So standing facing forward. Half squat position. Side kick right, back to middle. Transfer weight, side kick left. Use the torso to counterbalance the weight of the leg. So hips stay facing forward the whole time. Weight is on the grounded leg in that support position. Torso goes the opposite direction to the leg to counterbalance. Look at the toe of the kicking leg. That will help you to rotate the torso to keep balance. Low in that support leg position, engage the glute. Feel that burn. Great work. Lovely. All right, another combo. Side facing. Face the left, right side, left foot forward. Left jab, left jab. Darker punch. Right arm, uppercut. So, left jab, left jab, duck, come up, uppercut, right arm. Jab, jab, duck, uppercut. Get really low on the duck. Spring up through the heel. Bring that arm up with the momentum coming up out of the squat. Jab, jab, duck, spring up with that uppercut. Use the full body momentum, drive that punch. Great work. Same thing, other side. So face the left. Right jab, right jab, duck, left uppercut. Okay, let's go. Jab, jab, duck, uppercut, reset. So use the obliques to twist when we get that uppercut. So you'll feel it in the back oblique twisting, front oblique crunching round, and that back glute helping you get that power up out of that squat, rebound with the punch. Get as low as we can, duck that punch, spring up. Full weight of the body, momentum all through that punch. Good work. Same thing, except we're gonna just be facing forward. So we still go jab, jab, Duck, opposite hand, uppercut, but we just face forward this time. So different muscles involved. Hands up in guard, let's go. Jab, jab, duck, uppercut. Bang. Always keep one hand in guard, in front of your face protecting. So hips and shoulders stay facing forward the whole time. We don't have the rotation this time. <laughs> Lovely work. All right. So the next exercise, the three sets are the same. We've got pop squats with a double punch. So we start in the middle. Feet together with both hands punching up, drop to squat, both hands punch forward at the same time. Up, together punch up, wide, squat, punch forward. Up, open, punch up, forward. So you punch, bring the hands to the chest, swap the legs. So you punch up as you go up, out as you go down. Good work, get nice and low in that squat. 
core really involved in balance with this one. Good work. Spring up, drop down. Great work. Two more of those, exactly the same. Doing great. We're more than halfway through. So double punch, up, forward. If you wanna do alternating punches, so you get a little bit more rest, that is all right. So up, up, down, punch, punch. Just make sure that when you go down, you hold the squat as you punch. Really quick with the punches, in and out nice and quick. Great work. Lovely. All right, just one more of those. Last one. Get as low as you can on the squat. Knees at 90 degrees, hips back. Drive through the heel to come up. Core tight, finish off. 10 seconds. the whole time. The left leg, right arm, forward, side kick left. Oop, kick. Core is tight. Squeeze your obliques. Get that torso down. Head looks at the side kick. Helps to counterbalance the torso weight. Hands up in guard. Great right work. All right. Just alternate sides for that one now. So right leg kick forward, left punch forward, right kick sideways, then swap to the other side. swap. If you get out of rhythm with the hands, that's all right. I just kick sideways to begin with then. It's all a little bit confusing. Just make sure you're keeping on moving. Keep the core tight. Glutes are engaged the whole time, helping us keep balanced. 
the work. Lovely. All right. So facing forward for this one. Right arm and leg are working first. So we get down into a squat. Two right cross body punches at the bottom. Punch, punch. We come up, left side kick. Back down to the squat. Right punch, right punch, right side kick. Stay as low as you can the whole time. Burn up those left glutes as a support. If it's too much, half squat for your punches. Otherwise, right down at the bottom. Then transfer the weight onto the left, kick right. Right oblique's gonna burn, left glute's gonna burn. Great work. Same thing, left side. So said, if you need to come up out of the squat, do it when you do your punches. Great work. Let's go down. Punch, punch, kick. So the right glute now is working the whole time, as well as the left obliques. Keep the hips facing forward the whole time. Good work, 10 seconds. Woo. All right. We're just gonna alternate now. So start with the right side. So punch, punch, right side kick, back to your squat, punch with the left hand. Remember it's a cross body punch at the bottom of the squat. Let's go. Punch, punch, side kick, other side. Bang, bang, bang. Great work. Stay low. Try and not come out of the squat the whole time if you can. Five seconds. Keep going. Ooh, great work. All right. One more kickboxing exercise. Front squat, two punches at the bottom, right leg front kick. So down, punch, punch, drive up, right leg front kick. Squat, punch, punch, right leg front kick, down. Punch at the bottom of the squat, drive up through the left heel, front kick right, explode, drop down, punch. Core is really involved in this one. As are the glutes, as always. And those quads burning now. <laughs> Lovely. All right. Left leg kicking. Nearly finished the kickboxing. So left leg, remember double front punch at the bottom of your squat. So punch, punch, up, kick, down, punch, punch, kick. Nice and low in the squat. Make sure you're not bending, but you're dropping at the hips. Back stays straight, chest is upright the whole time. Five 
hands, push through that burn. Lovely. All right, alternating legs for our last interval of kickboxing. Let's finish off strong. Drop low. Punch, punch. Right kick, low, punch, punch, left front kick. Drive through the heel to come up out of the squat and then sink low. Keep the hands in guard. Good work, 15 seconds, finish off. Now your quads are on fire. They get a rest after this, sort of. Great work. All right. It's the end of our kickboxing. Now we do our abs. So, slow crossbody mountain climbers. Extended arm plank. Knee comes up to opposite elbow and holds for a second. So, core tight. Drive up, hold. Down, swap leg. So hips stay facing down the whole time. Engage the abs. Stop rotation movement to keep the hips up and back flat. Hold the knee at the top of the crunch for a second. Shoulders stay stacked above wrists. Butt stays down. Crunch. Working on the breathing. Don't hold your breath. Great work. All right, onto our back. Fast bicycle crunches. So hands behind our head. Crunch up. Shoulder blades off the ground. Alternate knee to elbow as quick as we can. Keep the leg off the ground when it straightens. Use the obliques to rotate the full torso. Keep the lower back on the ground by engaging the lower abs. 20 seconds. Push through. Ten. Keep going. Alright, right, flipping over, we have slow oblique mountain crunches, uh, mountain climbers. So the knee goes to the outside of the same arm. So extended arm plank, right knee goes to the outside, right elbow, hold, and back. Left knee to outside, left elbow, hold, back. Obliques are going to be on fire. That's the point of all these exercises. Keep the middle abs and lower abs engaged to get the back straight. Good work, 10 seconds. Embrace that burn. Oh. Good work. All right, onto our backs again. We've got slow bicycle crunches. So instead of going as quick as we can, we crunch up and hold for a second, then swap. So crunch up, hold, swap, hold, swap. Keep the extended leg off the ground if you can. If you need to put it down, that's fine for a rest. Keep the shoulder blades off the ground by engaging the upper abdominals. Middle abs help with the obliques to rotate the torso. 10 seconds. 
I know it burns, push through. <laughs> climb a circle. So right leg goes to left elbow, outside right elbow and back but it doesn't touch the ground. So circle, open and back. Keep it off the ground. When you extend, if you have to touch it down for a second that's all right. So crunch, cross body, hold, Open to wide oblique, hold, back to extend, hold, and then engage again. Great work. <laughs> Nearly there. Push through. Last one. Great work. Okay. Two more exercises. That's it. Onto our back. Rocking 90 degrees sit up. On our back, arms extended, legs extended. Keeping the 90 degree bend, we sit up, touch down and back, nice and slow. So engage the abs the whole time, on the way up and down. If you need to bend the legs to the knee, that's all right. So. If you need to do that, that's fine. Just try and keep as close to 90 degrees at the hip joint as you can. Slow on the way up, slow on the way down. Cool. All right, last exercise. Slow mountain climbing circle, left leg. Then we're done and we'll have a stretch. Finish off strong. Doing great. 40 seconds of work, that's all we've got left. Push through, so left leg to right elbow, outside left elbow, back. Hold at each elbow for a second and back for a second. Don't let the hips twist or rotate. Engage the whole core to keep them facing down. And not oblique to crunch up that leg. 10 seconds, push through. Ooh. All right, great work. We are finished. Let's get a very, very, very sweaty selfie and then have a nice stretch to cool down. Let's drink, have a drink and towel off. I'm going to open a window because literally the windows here are all fogged up. Whew, that was a tough one. Great work on that, girls and Jared. Oh, hope you could get out some frustration with that. I certainly did. And burned 534 calories doing it. That's what I call a win-win. All right, so. Let's get into a nice cool down stretch. All right, let's start. Let's go down onto all fours. Stretch out those abs to begin with. Cause I don't know about you, but mine are tight after that little burner. All right, hands and knees, and then we'll drop the hips and then push the chest up, arch the head back, stretch those abs and hip flexors. Sink the hips low. All right, lift the hips, drop the weight back into child's pose. Crawl the hands forward and stretch the shoulders. 
put the right hand on top of the left and twist. Stretch out the lat and oblique on that right side. All right, right hand back in front of the right. Hips up and then forward, down. Push the chest up, stretch those abs again. Sink the hips low. Full stretch of those abs and hip flexors. All right, raise the butt, sink back to child's again. Left hand on top of the right. Stretch out those left lats and a bit of the oblique. Sink those shoulders down, push the head down. All right, good work. Left hand back in front. Come up, tuck the toes under. Lift the knees into plank and then drop the hips again. Lift the chest up, but the weight is on our toes. So we get a deeper stretch of those abs now. Lift the butt up, legs straight, sink to down dog. Drive the heels down, push the head down, open those shoulders. Weight forward to down dog again. So drop the hips. Arch the back. Remember the weight stays on our toes. Okay, I'll, I have to go, but thank you very much. All right, catch you, Jenna. Thanks for joining. Next time. And butt back up again into down dog. All right. Pedal those feet a couple of times, stretch those calves and slowly walk the feet in as we pedal inch by inch until they're directly under us. All right, right foot, step it back about two feet, both legs straight, fold forward, hips go back, torso folds forward, get that left hamstring Weight forward again, swap the feet. So right goes up under us, left goes back about two foot, and then sink the hips back, torso folds forward, get the right hamstring. All right, left foot back up under us, right foot pick up, Cross it over the left to figure four pretzel and then sink the hips low. Stretch that right glute. Oh, this is one of my favorite stretches. All right, stand up and swap legs. So right leg down straight, left up across the knee. And sink low, stretch the left glute. Both knees in balance. All right, standing up or folding back up, sorry. Left leg stays in front, right leg shoots back straight. Left leg goes into a 90 degree bend, so we're at a deep lunge. Keep the hands on the ground, sink the hips low. Left hand open up, twist the torso. World's greatest stretch. Hold. Back to center. Straighten that left leg. Sink the hips back. Fold the chest forward. Bonus stretch of the right calf as well. But focusing on that left hamstring. All 
Once more through that again. So down, bend the left leg, deep plunge, drop the hips low, and then open that left hand and chest up, twist. Hand back down to center, straighten the left leg again, fold forward. Drive the right heel down as well. All right, bend the left leg forward, stand up and swap legs. So right leg's forward now, left leg goes back straight, right knee 90 degrees, sink those hips. Right hand opens up, rotate and open that chest up. Sinking that hip low. All right, back to center. Straighten the right leg. Get that right hamstring and drive the left heel down. Get the calf. Once more through that. So bend that right leg again. Drop those hips, get the left hip flexor. Get a right glute. And open that right arm and chest. Rotate. Get those obliques as well. All right, back to center. Straighten that right leg and sink back. All right, feet back together at our top of our mat. We're gonna turn. Go wide legs facing forward, hands open. We're gonna go up, right hand. We're gonna stretch out those obliques. So you can take the weight of your torso on that left hand on the knee and just get that nice long stretch of that right side. Reach for the opposite wall. Back up to center. Let's go the opposite way. So left hand, stretch out, driving the left hip away from our fingertips to elongate that stretch. Once more each side. And last side. Alright, keeping the legs where they are, going to fold forward, keeping them straight, just get rid of those groins and hamstrings again, so just fold over, if you want to you can grab onto the back of your legs to help pull, otherwise just fold forward. Okay. Turning towards the left side now, right hand grabs the back of the left ankle and pulls us across. So this will get our right lats and obliques as well as the left hamstring. Just pull yourself over and hold for a couple of seconds. All right. Slowly walk the hands over to the right leg now. So left hand grabs the back of the right heel and pull. All right, release that foot and walk the hands back to center. Wiggle the feet in a little bit slightly. And then we're just going to do a swinging windmill. So we're just going to open our arms and just 180 side to side. So just loosen that back. So 
So back is staying flat. And then in a couple of seconds, we'll stand up and do the same thing. All right, so now standing up and just gonna finish with the 180 degree windmill here. Go up onto the toe on the back foot, just to increase the stretch on that back oblique. Couple more. All right, back to center. One deep breath for me. All right, and we are finished. All right, guys, great work on finishing this cardio, kickboxing, and ab burner workout and cool down stretch. As well as being a great physical workout, I also found it was a nice cathartic release of some of that isolation frustration. So I hope you got that as an added bonus from this workout too. If you followed along at home, I'd love to hear your feedback. It's always appreciated. And as always, keep your eyes on the page for more workouts from me over the coming weeks. Catch you guys.